Yo, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a video and show you guys me attempting to black out the midsole on a pair of Pure Boosts. And basically this was kind of a lead up because I want to black out a pair of my Ultra Boosts, the, the, basically the black pair with a white midsole. Uh, but I wanted to try it on a pair of, of Pure Boosts to see um, some of my options first. So this time I'm using the Plasti Dip. I will have another one where I'm using some, uh, some shoe dye, some black shoe dye. But I wanted to show you guys a Plasti Dip uh, as well, it's kind of a fail video as well as showing you guys what it kind of looks like. This is a really tough product to use on this particular shoe uh, because of the uh, the way that the, the boost is put together and how it meets the upper. Uh, but if you didn't know what Plasti Dip is, it's basically a spray on um, rubberized material. And shout out to Indeed317. Uh, if you guys didn't see his foam posit video with this stuff a long time ago, uh, he did a video um, covering a pair of foams with it. And um, it works well. Like I like the look of it. I think it looks pretty dope, but uh, it really is difficult to uh, to use on this particular model. For the Ultra Boost, I don't think it will be as difficult, so I'm still kind of up in the air whether or not I want to try it on that shoe, considering I don't want to waste um, a product on a shoe and ruin it. One of the things is you really have to like tape off the shoe well. Um, I used um, painter's tape basically on the upper and then also on the bottom, uh, just, in, just sort of in case, but I didn't do a very good job of uh, taping it off and that's the probably the biggest thing at the very very end of the video I'll show you guys the fail part but I did three layers of the shoe and then this was a second attempt and, and showing you guys me doing this a little bit more carefully because the first time and you'll see at the very very end uh, is a fail and when I take it off when you take the tape off it actually rips part of the uh, the midsole off and you can see it looks pretty good when you have it on but the trickiest part is for sure getting um, the, uh, the, the tape off and I'm using a little razor blade here to cut it off um, because part of it is uh, just kind of stuck on but uh, it was really really difficult to be honest to do this in the middle of the video while I'm recording it and you can see the bottom there's um, some leakage from the, the rubberized stuff so I didn't cover the bottoms on these ones and again these ones were just for test purposes um, and basically you'll see as I'm taking off the tape um, it looks pretty good but then there's a couple areas here and there that you'll see that it ends up screwing up. Um, so you can see right there, just as soon as I pull it off, there's a little bit of white already exposed um, because I pulled it off and it's uh, it's where the, the tape met. And because of that, it makes it a little bit difficult on this particular model. I get, like I said, on the Ultra Boost, it might be a little bit better, but because of the way it meets with the material, really, really difficult to, uh, to pull this off perfectly with this uh, material. One of the other things I will say is if this does work, then the other option is um, just using a touch-up um, paint to be able to uh, fill in the gaps of, of the black. Now, I ended up doing something really, really lame, but something I did do is use a Sharpie like and a marker to kind of fill in the white just for um, visibility purposes for myself so I can just visualize it without seeing the white because it was really distracting when you see a little area of white exposed on the midsole and it's not supposed to be there. Uh, so uh, basically what I ended up doing is um and you can see right here what happens see it's just kind of like rubbery weirdness going on um and there's that that white part again right there you can see on the midsole but but anyway so it was it was fun to give this a try and see how this would turn out um would i recommend it i say probably not unless you really are good with plasti dip and you've used it before or you have a beater pair that you want to try it on i really like the look though of the blackout um sole i didn't do it very well on this pair like I would for sure cover the bottom completely so it doesn't bleed um, like it, you could see it right here it did. Uh, and that way it will be kind of covered. But it's also one of those things where you have to be really patient when you're taking off um, this part of it. Because just one little section where you where you miss it and you'll see at the very end of it. Um, that part was great I think. But you'll see at the very end like the toe box I end up screwing it up completely. So I, I don't know it's just one of the things you have to be patient. And um, the other thing is, and I'll leave a comment, um, or in the description, I'll leave a comment or uh, add addition in the description whether or not these are wearable. Uh, I'm going to wear these. I plan on wearing them at work or just wearing them out walking the dogs and seeing what happens with the boost. Does the plastic uh, or the plastic dip come off or not um, as you go? It's pretty uh, mollable. Like when you push in on the boost material, it doesn't like like slough off. But what, what, watch right here. I think this is why I screwed all up. And you, you probably missed it because I can't, I didn't get it in camera. I pulled it off just like that and it just it basically just pulled off that layer and then you can see the the boost exposed so then I try to fill it in a little bit I will show you an on foot um, also uh, in another 
section here at the very end of this video, but I just want to finish showing you guys uh, me pulling off uh, the tape. Um, anyway, so it's one of those things where it's it's fun to be able to experiment with some shoes. And if you guys actually like this video, please let me know. Leave a comment. Um, I know it's not 100% awesome because I didn't show you how to execute per uh, perfectly, but I think it also has some value in showing you things not to do uh, when you're trying to do this and, and spending $100 on a pair of shoes or whatever it might be and then potentially ruining it. So that's kind of the way it looks. And, and you can see I like the, the look, the color look. I also have the Plastic Dip has like a gloss spray over that you can, you can add to, I guess, um, have it more weatherproof or something. I'm not really sure what it is. I'll have to double check and see what the product was that I bought because uh, I didn't use it. I actually liked the way it looked like this and I wanted to give it a try. So if you guys are curious about that, I'll, I'll try to do that. I'm using just a regular um, black pen. I did use a Sharpie for part of the other one and I'm just going to fill in the parts that were exposed because I pulled the other one off and I did this one a lot faster uh, off camera and it basically was not very good. It really, uh, the whole side right here was exposed. And, and um, so I'm just kind of filling it in with a black uh, pen. Again, you could fill this in probably with um, shoe polish. And there's, um, I think the Angelus shoe polish stuff is great. I, I definitely have some stuff coming from them. So be on the lookout for that. I have a lot of um, ideas for some videos uh, that I'm going to be doing with that. But this stuff was a, a nice attempt. Um, but obviously you could see the fails. And so I'm going to fill in uh, the stuff with some black ink because I don't have my polish yet, my shoe polish. Um, and then... Uh, I'll show you guys what they look like on feet here in just a second. But all in all, like I like the look of the blackout. I mean, for sure, like the look of the blackout material, I think is awesome. Um, this one in particular is not one that I see being the best. If you like stub your toe on your gas pedal or something like that or whatever it might be, uh, it will actually probably uh, chip the, uh, the rubberized stuff off a little bit. And once like one little corner comes up from the rubberized stuff, uh, basically it just, you could just peel the entire thing off. And again, you'll see that towards the end of the video. Um, but, uh, but I think it's a fun thing to experiment with. I'm not sure if anybody out there has used this, um, Plasti Dip. If you have used this uh, product on a pair of sneakers, leave a comment. Let me know what, um, make and model that you guys use this on. I'm just curious. Uh, for me again, just the pure boost or the ultra boost would be the ideal scenario for something like this. And, uh, yeah, I definitely plan on doing the, uh, the, ultra boost soon but i just am trying to figure out whether or not this is the best option or the paint um they're both options that i think are are val valid and by paint i don't mean actual paint i i think it's more of a dye um, but <clears throat> you can see the look i actually like the look i think it looks pretty dope and these are the pure boost uh, reveals and uh and i didn't show you guys these ones in the collection or the kind of the the pure boost um comparison videos but you can see it looks pretty good on and it's not bad like up close but you could see, like, obviously I shouldn't use a sharp because it's it's a different tone of black, so it doesn't really work. Anyway, I'll show you guys the on feet right here. And uh, yes, don't pay attention to my little chicken legs, my uh, my random hair spots, and my dry legness. I know it's gross, uh, but uh, but I didn't lotion up, and, and my dog scratched my uh, my legs right before I did this video. Um, anyway, you can see what they look like on feet. They look pretty good on feet, and this is one of those things where I could I could like fool you guys in a picture on Instagram and be like, Hey, try this out. Look at it. It looks awesome. And <clears throat> basically doctor up the, uh, the, the photo enough. So it looks like plastic dip is a great option. And it's really easy to do, but I figured this video would be a little bit more helpful. And you can see the, the, the color variation right there on the toe cap because I did that, that um, Sharpie. I'll probably overwrite that with something else. But, uh, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys what they look like on feet and uh, show you that they're not perfect. But it is something that you can do. Now, this is a fail part of the video. This is the first time. And um, Sneakerhead in the Bay, basically, you guys know him for his re restorations and everything else. Dude is awesome. Uh, highly recommend um, checking out his channel if, if you haven't seen it already. But he recommended to me already, like, and I should have listened to him. He said when you're pulling off this stuff, make sure that <clears throat> you pull it off while it's wet or whatever. He, he, I didn't really understand what he was saying because I didn't understand uh, what was going to happen here. But as you're pulling this off, it just ripped off part of that. Uh, for the midsole so if you don't spray um <clears throat> if you don't spray something down it's really going to cause some problems and pull up the material so uh kind of one of those things where i just kind of realized it as i was uh, doing this and i was like oh crap this is not going to work but luckily i could just reapply and uh, i ripped the stuff off and then re-sprayed it and uh, kind of went that way but you can see right here this is i mean it just pulls it right up like that and as soon as it pulls it up you can just rip it off and that's what i'll show you guys that I end up doing on this pair. So 
Is it something that's durable? Yes and no. It, it is durable. Um, but if it's an everyday runner that you're wearing every single day and you like are clumsy with your feet, it's going to be able to be chipped off. You can see like right here, it's on pretty good. And um, <clears throat> I think I show you, I, I push in on it a little bit. Maybe I don't. But uh, but you can see how horrible it looks because of the, the white exposed. And again, this is a trait of the uh, Pure Boost by itself because of the way that the shoe is put together. The Ultra Boost is not uh, the same way, so it won't be as big of a problem. But you can see right there, as soon as it's ripped a little bit, it's just super easy to pull off. So it's not very binding to the material, but it does kind of um, hug the, the Boost material and kind of is like a, a little bit of a wrap. Anyway, hopefully you guys like this video. Again, if you did, please uh, show you the support. Give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, I will have another follow-up on Boost material uh, with a black dye, so stay tuned for that. And uh, hopefully, again, you guys like these kind of uh, just different type of videos on my channel. I plan on doing a lot more of these. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so that's a wrap. Not really the best uh, product, but something that's kind of fun to experiment with for a low cost of under $10. Uh, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.